Hey guys, just before we get into the video, I'd like to take a moment to shout out another fellow YouTuber called Lazy Gamer. He makes his own tutorials in Juicy Doom Builder, and he goes into a lot of details in these tutorials and puts a lot of effort in. I've watched a few of his videos, and I enjoyed them, and I also found them quite informative, as he's covered a lot of subjects in GZ Doom Builder that I myself don't actually know, so I've actually learned from them, and as I say, I found them quite fun to watch. He deserves way more views than he gets, and he's a very nice guy. Um, he puts a lot of effort into his videos, there's a lot of love there, you can definitely tell there's a lot of love. Whilst browsing his description, I've also discovered that he'd gone to not only the effort of linking my channel in the description, but also linking other channels such as Chubbs Doomer, who also does um, GZ Doom Builder tutorials and other stuff, a lot of other stuff. And I also might say he's very good for tutorials, so definitely check Chubbs Doomer out. But se seeing this warmed my heart, as despite my lack of tutorials and my sporadic upload cycle, he still made the effort to shout me out. So as well as returning the favour to not only a nice but dedicated guy, I'd also like to say thanks for doing this and keep going at it dude. Because I love your content, it's great. With that being said, let's get to the video. Hello and uh, welcome back to GZ Doom Builder. Um, it's been a while, I'd say a good year. Uh, I don't I don't need to, YouTube says it's been a good year, so it's been a good year since, uh, since I last recorded a video and uploaded one. Um, and it feels good to be doing it again, not gonna lie. Not much has happened in my absence, really. Um, as I've mentioned to um, a few people who have commented on my older videos, the reason for my absence has been my upload is not even a megabyte, a megabit, even. So, it's very slow to upload videos. It always has been, but it's just kind of, it's gotten slower lately. We still use DSL, copper DSL f in, in the phone lines. So when it's when it's a little bit when it's a little bit blowy down here in the UK, that's, that's it. <laughs> My internet's done for. Um, no fibre planned soon. Probably in the next five years, I'll probably be gone by then. Um, so yeah. Um, anyway, I'm gonna do my best to upload when I can. Um, according to my internet. Regardless, um, today I'm gonna be covering secrets and false walls. Um, so, if we move on with that now, I have a little demonstration for those who may not fully know uh, much about them. So, here all around you see we've just got a regular square empty room. Um, however, there is a secret behind this wall. And as you see, you can't actually shoot that texture where it's just next to it. You can shoot it. So you can discover false walls by simply shooting through them. Um, I mean, that's normally how you would find a false wall in Doom. Um, other than just running into the wall and hoping you go through one of them. And you can also have it so on the other side, there's no texture. So you can just see back out. Um... Good for hiding secrets in, um, in really hard to get to places, looks like a wall, do a, you know, a really difficult and conspicuous jump and suddenly you're through the wall and there's a secret there. Or even great for, say, ah, uh, who knows, um, deathmatch, giving people an advantage, um, but like making a really hard to get to hiding place through a wall. With maybe some giveaway that is there so that people can see where you're hiding, otherwise that'd be too unfair. Regardless, um, let's move on to how to do this. So, if we want to do either File New or Control N, um, name the map whichever you like. I'm just going to leave it as Map 01 for demonstration purposes. Don't need to rename it because it's not going to be a level in a custom mod anytime soon. So, first things first, I'm going to press L to get the line tool out. As you can see down here, it changes to line defs mode. This means I'm creating line defs. Um, after which, I'm just going to make a not very square room. And then I'm going to make it square. I think that is square. Oh well. If it's not, it doesn't matter. Next, I'm going to place my player starting so that we can test the map and so that it can be played when I'm done with it. Now, these... 
um, for those who don't know how to do secrets and false walls and such, it's actually a very simple, um, easy to do thing in GZ Doom Builder. So, all you need is lines. No special things added to them other than textures and some, let's say, um, sec oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> I keep pressing print screen instead of insert. And some sec- nah, sector. Um, I can't remember what they're called. Actions. They're called sector actions. I'm terrible, aren't I? <sighs> right, so. For sector actions, if you press S to get the sector tool out, and you right click on the sector you wish to be secret, you could you go to this little um, window box here that opens up a window. That's why I call it a window box to edit effects. So these are sector effects or special sectors or whatever you want to wish to call them. And now you wish to go, you want to go to generalized effects, and under secret where it says no, you just turn it to yes and okay and okay and boom, secret sector. So now, when you run this. And you walk into your very blatant sector here. It will say a secret is revealed. And there you go. You've made a secret sector. It's that simple. The real trick is hiding them and making them actually difficult to discover. Um, which is kind of a knack you just kind of learn yourself. Now, to make this a false wall, what you want to do is go to middle to edit the middle texture. Type in a texture, I'm going to pick the one that matches the walls. It automatically lines it up with the rest of the textures to make it look more inconspicuous. So you can have it completely hidden. Um, almost completely hidden. So what I did there to line those textures up is I looked at the one I wanted to line the textures up to and I simply pressed A. I can do that to... Um, oh, they're all lined up now. But yeah, if you just press A, it lines up all the textures in the room. All the connecting textures that are the same texture as that one will be lined up to that. And so it looks completely inconspicuous now. You can't even tell it's there unless you shot through it and realized that the bullets are leaving marks or if you just ran into it. And on the other side, as you can see, there is no texture so you can just see back through. Um, enemies can shoot through this, however, you can make it so they can't, uh, which I will demonstrate. But also, if you just copy the texture across from here to here, and press OK, and press Q to go into visual mode, um, bada bing, bada boom, you can't even see back through that side now. So if you accidentally ran through it and you're in this room, you're like, you may look around and think, oh, there's no way out, and you would most likely just run into all the walls to press your know, use key to open up a wall, maybe, and would end up running out anyway, but nice little trick to fool people, although likely it won't fool most people. <laughs> Regardless, it's a nice little added uh, feature. Um, so if I demonstrate that now, as you saw previously, that's not the right wall, this is. There you go. And I could have tested that by simply shooting the walls, but I remembered because I have my player um, here facing with the wall to his right. And that is how I knew. So this is this is the one that you go through. This is a secret, and I can see through the other side. Okay, so that has been um, how to make false walls and secrets. Again, a very simple action, and not much to it at all, really. Quite easy, and it really can fluff out your uh, your wad when you're making one. So it's a very helpful couple of techniques to use and incorporate into your level. Um, regardless, um, that's going to be the end of the video, so I hope you guys have enjoyed and have found this helpful. Um, if you have, um, or maybe if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Typically I'll always respond. Um, even when I haven't been uploading, I've still taken to responding to comments because I still like to be helpful when I can't actually release a proper a guide. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, I'll see you in the next one, peace out.